Weird when you see it. I mean, we're going to get to these in a second. We've got some well-known brands here and how much sugar's in there. But this sat next to me. This is the amount of sugar per year the average 11 to 18-year-old consumes yeah. from, from this with drinks. Yeah. That is it. Yeah. That is a lot when you see it like that. I mean, these are what we're looking at now, the individual drinks. I mean, what is this showing us? The amount of sugar that's in each one of them? Yeah, yeah pretty much. So <clears throat> they... We know that these are the kind of the new formulations where they have dropped them down a bit. So this is the reduced. Reduced, yeah. But certain brands, so Pepsi and Coke, are still keeping the same amount because for so they're them, not so they will be taxed and they'll yes, be more expensive. Exactly, because for them they wanted to keep the flavour. They say the consumers are happy with the flavour and that's what they're known for. Okay. So they're staying. People will up. keep just keep buying it. Yeah, potentially. But we are the other ones have reduced and what we are also trying to raise awareness for is for people to make swaps. So where possible have water, lower fat milks, because those are going to be much more teeth friendly and health friendly for you. So, mm. but I also like the sugar tax concept because it is getting people talking about it, it's getting people thinking about it. And it's a bit of a sort of health by stealth, if you like. If you are going to get it, at least it, it still has too much sugar, mm. really, yeah. but at least it's a bit But less. looking at that comparison, I mean, I'm looking down sort of this end of the spectrum, these seem mm. a little bit lower, but I mm. mean, I'm going up there and I can see the Pepsi can there. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah. But why is there none for the Coke? Oh, because we're going to just pour it out so you can see. So Millard here has got a glass. That's how much a child should have. Well, really, a child shouldn't have any, but they shouldn't have any more than that per day. Okay. What age child? So this is from 7 to 10. OK. OK. And this is what's in a can of Coke. OK, this is still going. So I think if we... Oh, a little bit went on the table there. But and if we compare still some the in two, there. Yeah, yeah. there's more in one can of Coke than what a child should be consuming in a whole day mm -hmm. from all of their sugars, from, from not just from drinks, from food as well. So the four that you see here, Dots Pepper, Fanta, Sprite and Iron Brew, they've reduced their sugar content by reformulating so there's now less than half of what there was previously. So therefore they won't pay a tax. But the Coke, the Coke and the Pepsi still have the same amount of sugar, which as you can see is more than is mm. a safe amount. It is a lot. It's about nine cubes of sugar. Wow. Each 